do you feel about the magazine release party so far tonight? I'm really excited and I always love to see this eclectic group of entrepreneurs and social influencers, designers, photographers, Wall Streeters, tech entrepreneurs all coming together, supporting each other and networking. I love it. So at Rain Magazine, you make it your first priority to pick artists and entrepreneurs that are unique out of their own. So what ultimately makes you choose them to feature them in the magazine? Well, we start with the story. And do they have a really good story that can inspire others? And then we look at the product. Is it really a quality product? Is it innovative? Are they pushing the fold? Can they be the next big name in fashion, in culture, in technology, in entertainment? That's what we're looking for. They need that star quality. And you, coming from a pre-med background yourself, what made you delve into the fashion world? That's funny. Most people don't know I was pre-med once upon a time. I actually went on to uh, get my master's in clinical psychology, and that's when I realized I had a love for fashion and I wanted to help people through my passion for creativity. As a designer and a consultant and entrepreneur, it dawned on me that there wasn't a platform in the market to tell the stories of the really, really talented individuals that are out there pursuing their dreams. And so why not develop a platform for that? And that's how Rain was born. Awesome, awesome. Great concept as well. So what can we expect from Rain Magazine in 2014? Oh, big stuff. Look for us, iTunes, Google Play for your Android lovers, The Nook, Newsstands. We're Rain TV. We're growing Rain TV. Super excited about that. Look for our membership hub, Rain 360. And it goes on and on and on. Stay tuned on rainmagazine.com. I'm here with the famous Consuelo Vanderbilt Costin. Consuelo, how are you doing tonight? I'm so good. I'm so glad you guys are here. This is so fun. We are so honored to be talking to you tonight. Not only is Consuelo their Volume 18 cover girl, but she is an amazing performance artist herself. She also owns CNR Records, a globally recognized record label. Consuelo, what's your new single that's coming out? The single that actually has done very well in Europe. Um, which I'm so excited. We're just launching in the U.S. right now. So it's called Here We Go, and it's a really fun summer dance song that everyone can connect to. It's a hot video, really hot guys and really hot girls. So, yeah, I think it's, it's something to watch out for, for sure. We can't wait to see it. And tell us a little bit about more projects that you're working on in 2014. I have my website, which is the, I'm very excited about. It's the trusted source for creativity. Uh, it's kind of the Soho house of really finding talents, which I'm very excited. And that's going to Alpha Stage in the next six weeks. I know Tech Geek, who knew? And, um, and my album's coming out this year. So really, really happy. And it's and a studio TV show here in May. So it's really going well. So you beat out thousands of other artists in a major art competition. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, that was a huge platform because when you enter any competitions for Art Basel, which actually came from Europe, and for it to be in Miami, it was just a huge opportunity to show my work. And by me being one of the only artists in 4,000 entrants uh, of work for me to beat all those other artists out for that one particular piece. That's saying a little something. And it was just a wonderful feeling because it was just a platform to just, like I said, to, to, to show my work and show the medium what I work with. Definitely amazing work, guys. And Lerone, can you tell us where we can find your artwork, where we can look you up? Well, you can look me up at LeroneWilson.com. And I'm working on a big project. I'll be the first black sculptor to put a piece out in Harlem on Lenox Avenue in the history of New York. It's called Step to Triumph. It's coming soon, so stay tuned. I'm look out for it. I'll be the one. And I'll we'll be the be first looking, one. We'll be looking out for you, Lerone. Here with the inspiring John Blassing Gang. John, can you tell us a little bit about what you do? Yes, first of all, uh, inspiring and legendary. Uh, I am the former publisher of Hyper. I published uh, TBW Style Report. Black Men's Magazine. I'm a newsstand consultant. Started out about 30 something years, 31 years ago with Cosmo, Good House, Harper's Bazaar. I was the first black newsstand distribution guy that they hired and uh, started my own company in about 1985, consulting company. And I have a production company where we've been doing fashion shows with young designers, models, makeup artists, hairstylists, 
we give them visibility, we give them opportunity. And this is what it's all about in this industry. A lot goes into preparing for one of these events. What is the energy it takes to keep yourself together? A lot of music, um, thinking about the end result, thinking about meeting so many wonderful people, and overall just creating that image for people that want to know what's new, what's out there, and that's what Rain's all about. So that's what drives me and gives me that motivation. And where can someone find you or contact you if they'd like you to work on their event? Oh, sure. So you can reach me at jayladelpha at rainmagazine.com or look me up, Jen Adriana. I'm on Facebook and be more than happy to help you. Awesome, Jen. We are sure happy to have you. Thank you so much for talking to us tonight. Before we go, I just want to introduce one of our sponsors. This year is Miriam, Chocolate Boss by Miriam. Miriam is an amazing talent. I have met her quite some time, and we've been working together for a couple of years now. Miriam started in Parsons, and her creativity and drive has just sort of taken over through the years. She has now started with these chocolates, these wonderful chocolates that she created here for our cover girl, Consuelo. And as you see, it's in the, um, it looks like a album, but it's actually chocolate. So if you're interested, here's all the information. Contact her, check her out, Chocolate the Boss on Instagram, and hook her up. And Miriam, may I ask you, what's the most unique, in your opinion, art of chocolate that you've created? A chocolate dress. A chocolate dress? What was that for? It was for a fashion show. And how difficult was that for you to do? It was a little bit difficult, but I got it done, and it was amazing, and everybody loved it, and it was really unique and special. And that's why we got into this, chocolates. We make everything out of chocolate, chocolate CDs, chocolate lollipops. For Valentine's Day is coming up. We have a lot of stuff, all out of chocolate. All edible and all gorgeous and unique. So you can find us on Instagram at Chocolate Boss by Miriam or on Facebook, Chocolate Boss by Miriam. Awesome. And to be honest, you keep an eye out for this new innovative chocolate designer. 